Alright, this is an official official start of we're in the middle of 2023 and I live in the middle of Georgia. Uh, my mom went to Florida for a few days and all I asked her was to bring back some free mangoes. She brought me back about a dozen of these. A couple of medium sized ones and this big one. And I've already eaten most of all these. This is the only two that's left and all the others. <laughs> as you can see but what I want to do is try to plant some of these seeds and see if I can grow mangoes in Georgia I was told no nope, you can't grow mangoes in Georgia so this is my official start to see in a year from now or two years from now or three years from now was I able to grow these seeds into a tree in Georgia let's see all right guys here we are guys so, five days ago, uh, when I finished eating the last of the mangoes, I uh, had them drying, okay? So this is how it looks after it's dried. And then I did my best to try to cut them open as safely as I could to try to get the seed out the middle. Now, this one was the easiest, was the biggest mango, and it was the easiest to take out, and it's the smallest seed. And the smallest mangoes, the biggest seed, the brown ones, they were so hard. I don't even want to show you on camera how hard it was for me to get these seeds out. But anyways, these seeds have not been germinated. Okay, five days ago, I started a germination project a process with these seeds, and I have not checked it yet. So let's see what happened. I didn't even put them in the dark. I put them um, in the shade outside, in a shady area outside. So. I don't even know if they germinated or what. Let's see together. Real time here, guys. Real time. Let's see. They don't really have much smell. Maybe I put too much paper. Remember, this is my first time doing this stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I put too much paper towel. All right, here we are. Here's the seat. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't look like anything really happened with this one. I don't know. That one doesn't look like really much anything happened. Let's put that aside. Let's try another one. This don't look so good so far. Maybe I didn't germinate it long enough. I think I, think I should have germinated for like 10 days. Oh, jeez. I don't see anything. this one either. Alright, put that aside. Just... There's a bigger seed. The seed looks bigger. Can you see I'm lifting it up too high? I'm doing this on the inside because the mosquitoes are crazy out there right now. I'm gonna go and deal with them but Right now, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. All right, this one looks promising so far, and I haven't even taken it out yet. And I can see something already through it. Wow. I'm, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. Uh-oh. Getting excited, guys. Look at that. All right, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of green. There's a little bit of green. Look like it wants to grow right in here. I don't put that in the dirt. I just put it down in the dirt like that. That's how I'm going to do that. Alright. There's another one. Alright. So these have only been germinating for about four days, maybe five nights. Uh, I'm not a, I haven't been doing the scientific um, seconds to. Alright. Now this one looks like it wants to mold or something. Nope, oh, nope, nope, it looks like it wants to grow. Looks like it's trying to grow something here. You know what? I 
I'm gonna plant all of them. I'm gonna plant the one that I germinated here. I'm gonna plant the ones that I didn't germinate here. Now, <clears throat> all these containers have a container inside the container, so they're not touching. Uh, it's not just full. Uh, it has about this much space on the bottom of all of these containers have a container inside a container. All right, so I'm hoping that these are not too big of a container. It's all I have. Uh, so I'm going to use what I have. Maybe not fill it up too much. Uh, and then maybe I'm put it on the top. And then hope for the best. So that's how I'm going to do right now. So this is what I'm going to show. This is what I'm showing you on camera. Uh, right now and now I'm gonna put the dirt in here this is the dirt that I have it's what I have you know uh, so I went and got it and it looked like it was the best deal so that's the one I got it might not be the best but it's what I got so just to get this thing started okay and hopefully that it works out and once I put the dirt in and put them in I'm gonna show you how it looks in the end and I'm gonna water it and then I'll keep you know update weeks or days if it's starting to grow I'll take pictures and stuff and keep it track but this is gonna be years process so uh, this is how I'm starting off don't know well you know you'll see all right and best way I can keep it guys for you to see <laughs> wish me luck guys because it's gonna be a long process all right guys here we are <coughs> right, guys remember I'm, I'm, my camera setup's not as good as uh, most so I gotta work what I got. So I did not fill it up with dirt because I didn't want it to have too much dirt because apparently, you know, it can get acceptable to rot and stuff and, and diseases. So it's better for you to have less dirt and then bring it up as it grows. So there it is. That's how much dirt I put in each one. Now to mark these, the one with the white containers, the one that did not germinate. So I know which one didn't germinate. These didn't germinate. These didn't germinate. Uh, and everyone in here are the ones that germinated, right? One of the germinated ones broke in half and I still put it in together as a two pieces. But I don't know if that will work because, you know, it. and, and I, as soon as I unwrapped it, it, it broke in half. So it, oh, I don't know, whatever. So I put it in the dirt anyways to see if it will grow. So these are the germinated ones, and this one is a part of the non-germinated one. So let's keep track of that. I thought that it wasn't going to have enough container. I was going to use this as a container, but it's too small. I don't like it. So I'm going to throw this out as not a container. Uh, that was the lid for it, and I use what I have here. Now this one is the one that I'm keeping uh, again non-germinated but this is the one that was the big seed so I want to keep that in here to make sure I try to keep track of this one because that was the only one that all these mango seeds are from mostly the same mango that little small ripe sweet mango and this was the only one that was the big mango the big fat one so I'm going to keep it in here to try to keep track of it to see how that works out so there it is all right so now I'm going to water them and we'll keep track of them from there. All right. Uh, it's again, it's a uh, middle, it's almost the end of, uh, let's see, today is July 22nd, uh, 2023. <laughs> All right, so keep a track. Exact. Quick update, guys. Quick update. Today is July the 29th. It's been over a week since I put these out here and started. And I want you to see that it's turned green. It's green on the top. This one, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually split open with the green. This one's also split open and it's turned green. This one split open and it's a little something coming out right there. This one is turned green. This one hasn't shown anything yet, but I think think is going to start because this one has turned green and it's split open a little split open right on top there and this one I can't you can really see it's a little bit of green inside there so I think they're trying to do a little something something like grow 
my seeds are trying to grow my mango seeds today is July the 29th guys it's been over a week since I started this and they're trying to do a little something something uh, it's still too early for me to tell if I have the green thumb because again this is gonna take years so that's why I'm giving you the date of today so we can keep track together I love it. I love looking at this green. Look at this one. Wow. She's trying. She's trying. They're trying to grow. So let's leave them under here. So it's got a little protection in the shade. See the sun. So all this is shade here. All this is shade. And then it's protected under here from the rain and elements so I have to water them to make sure and it's uh today it's about almost 89 degrees I think so we're still averages in the 80s almost 90 degrees in the daytime and I think the temperatures fall down to about 70 68 70 at night and the mornings so hopefully it's still warm enough out here for me to keep them out here before it's get too late before it gets too cold for the winter and then I have to bring them inside all right all right today official August 1st so that one wants to shoot A little shoot there nice Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine official mango seeds. Most of them from the same tree. Picked ripe off the tree in Florida. We're in the middle of Georgia. August 1st. Let's keep it going. All right, today is August 2nd. And uh, we got a strong one here. The force is strong in this one. <laughs> we still see some green down there. We see some action over here too. We see some action over here, some green in here, and some some trying to grow out. I see some green in here. I see green in here. And I see green in here. I remember these were germinated. This was not germinated. This was not, this was not, and this was not. All the one in the black containers were germinated. So germinated or non-germinated, they're all still growing in some way. They're all green, they're all trying to do something. All right. This is where we are. This one here is the strong one. Ooh, look at that one. Wow. All right, we got, today is August 3rd. The temperatures are averaging around 80, and uh, between 80 and 85 degrees. And humidity is averaging, yesterday was 65, averaging. If that means anything to anyone. Anyways, here it is. There's that one here today. She's growing really fast. That one's trying to grow. That one's pushing up. That one's growing something. So that one's pushing up. That one's trying to grow. That one's pushing up. And that one's trying to grow. You can see it. Trying to push up a little vine there. All right. So every one of them are trying to do something. And this one is the strongest one so far. Mm-hmm. August 3rd today. And here we are in our time period, guys. Let's keep in track together. Okay, today is August 4th. Temperature is around 83 degrees. 
today the humidity is 69 it says if that means anything we started this last month around the 17th we're in 2023 the ones that were germinated the ones that were not germinated Not germinated, it's starting to grow flower. That's the big one I'm hoping to grow. All right, there's an update there. Today is August 5th. 2023 temperature is crazy right now it's in the it's almost 430 temperature is 91 degrees right now uh, and uh, the humidity is crazy because the humidity is 50% when at nighttime it can go all the way up to 90 in the 90 and 92% when the daytime it drops really it can be in the 60s, 70s, and today it's in the 50s. So that's the humidity. Today is 50% humidity. I don't know if it means anything, but I'm throwing it in there. All right. There's another update right there. I love this one right here. Non-germinated. All right, thank you guys for watching my channel and staying this long. If you're still here, today is August 6th, 2023. And uh, today the temperature is 75 degrees today. It just rained, so the humidity is at 92 right now at 2 p.m. Uh, as you can see, this, where they are, they're protected under here. You can see the difference between the sun and the shade. I don't know if that's bad, good or bad, but right now I'm having them protected under here. Um, 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 if you guys, just in full disclosure, guys, uh, this is not a learning channel. I am not a botanist. Um, I am not a professional in anything I do. Everything that I'm doing is me learning for myself, doing it for the first time. And I decided to record on my phone uh, because this is all I have right now. And I'm deciding to share it with the world, okay? So uh, I know that I don't have professional uh, anything from cameras to microphones to all the information to do this, all this professionally for you. All this is uh, me doing it for the first time, and I'm learning, and I'm sharing it with you guys. All right, so I'm not a professional, I'm not a botanist, um, I'm just learning how to do everything that I'm doing on my channel, and I'm sharing it with you guys. So, thank you guys for uh, staying this long, and I hope I deserve a thumbs up for for you stopping and watching and, and seeing that I'm I'm trying to learn. And I'm trying to do for myself and my family. And not have to always rely on somebody else. Alright. Okay. So now. You know, what I've learned. That these plants. Are growing more than one shoot. Are something like a polyembryonic. And monoembryonic. The difference between. Monoembryonic. That just grows one root. And the polyembryonic plants. That grow multiple shoots. Um that not all plants grow true to seed or something like that, like an avocado plant. You can't just grow avocado seed, apparently, and it, and it gives you uh, the avocado that you ate. You have to do some sort of grafting and all kinds of other stuff to it for it to give you that fruit. And somehow, it, it's kind of the same with the mangoes, I think. But oh, hopefully, uh, the mangoes are such a, uh, such a nicer fruit that even if it grows without doing all that stuff hopefully you're not going to get like a like a, a, a crab apple type mango you know like you know that they have these crab apples out there that you can't eat because I think that you know 
anyways uh, hopefully these mango seeds I don't know I don't know guys I don't know what to do anyways like I said I'm just learning I'm just planting these by seeds and I'm, I'm bringing you along on my journey okay guys I am NOT a professional in any way I'm doing here I am NOT a botanist I'm not a professional I'm just doing this for my personal enjoyment and I'm bringing you guys along on my journey while I'm doing it and trying to learn and see what's what yeah at least I'm trying right that's right so please have mercy on me and I hopefully I still deserve a thumbs up maybe even subscribe to my channel thanks guys for staying this long and watching all right today is august 7 2023 the temperature is at around 2 p.m today uh 88 degrees the humidity is at 68 percent don't know if, again i am not a botanist i'm not a professional i am only doing this for my personal enjoyment and I'm recording it and I'm bringing you guys along with me. I'm not doing anything too special. Um, the research that I'm doing, that I'm watching videos of others, their videos is making it seem like this is not going to be easy. It's just going to seem like it's going to be very hard. So I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, but I do want to hope that at least one, hopefully two of them succeed out of the nine that I started. One, I can already tell you, this one's not growing. Even though I can see a little bit of green in there, but I don't know, maybe it's just a late bloomer. Maybe it's just a late bloomer, but hey, I started with nine. And then I don't even want to tell you what I'm throwing. I, I'm starting here again, another different, uh, two different seeds uh, right there we eat a lot of it can you guess <laughs> uh, so we decided to I this I decided to see what I could do if I can even get it to do this much huh <laughs> no this is August 7th guys anyways thanks for watching this far I hope I'm still if you're still here I hope I deserve a thumbs up I love this one Look how beautiful she is. Look like reminding me like a, a palm, a palm oasis, like an oasis, like if you wanna, like in a desert or in the, yeah. Anyways, it's just me. <laughs> All right. All right. Today is August 9th. The current temperature is around uh, 82 degrees at uh, around 2 p.m. right now. And that was, and the humidity is at around 60%. Uh, again, um, I did not know how to end this uh, because I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing it daily, and we need to start skipping maybe weeks, maybe months if it's you know if it continues to go positive. So I'm thinking I'm going to end this like this. Uh, this is where we are. This is the biggest one I have from pop from from up it's almost as tall as my 16 inch ruler so I say 15 inches but if I put it in the pot and look at it it's it's almost 11 so it's almost 11 inches high from from pot inside the dirt to the top remember today is August 9th we started all this together Let's see here. There to there is the biggest leaf from there to there on the bottom. Try not to touch it. All right. Ooh, okay, so. All right. There is my update, guys. Now, I had that watering can, that the one that I normally use for my flowers over there, but no matter how slow I was trying to water it the water just came out so heavy so I'm glad I was able to find this thing it was like five bucks at the store and and I love this thing now I love using it uh, and I can just slowly squirt 
that out, guys. Just to wash the leaves off, any bugs on them, and then water the bottom. Real slow, though. The, the, uh... Let me just... Sorry, guys. Look. Trying to get you a good view here. Yeah, this one, this one here, I think is the one that broke in half. And I can still see a little green in there. It might be a delayer, but that must be really traumatized because it was two pieces that I just stuck in there to see what happened. What, what will happen? Try to water this almost every day a little bit like this. I'm not trying to do too much. Again, guys, I'm not a professional, I'm not a partner. I'm doing this for my own personal pleasure. Okay, guys. Yes, I'm trying to do a little research by watching other uh, YouTubers doing their videos. Thank you so much, guys, for sharing. You guys are big help, but you also show that it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> This thing looks like it's, it's a hard thing and you might not even get what you want. It might all be for naught. But the process is still so awesome that it, you still want to um, you want to do it. So here I am. I'm doing it for myself now. Every once in a while, a couple of days, every three or four days, it will be like some spider web trying to, trying to be on the top. You know, like these right here. And then I'll come and just spray it light, lightly with this thing. And that's what I'm doing. Just a little light spray. So they don't get too comfortable. They don't get too comfortable, hopefully. That little light spray is enough to make them not wanna um not wanna live over here in this corner. At least on my plants, right? <laughs> so there it is. That's uh, that there. That is how I am treating them. Uh, this is not every day, of course. Only see when I see spiders, uh, the webs trying to build up on it. That's when I use it. But this is what I'm going to use to water it from now on. <laughs> They're beautiful. Thank you guys for watching my channel. I hope you um, uh, subscribe to my channel. I hope you like to see seeing what I'm showing you here. And uh, uh, if you subscribe and throw that thumbs up, it will let me know that you are. Uh, interested in what I'm doing and I'll continue to uh, keep you updated keep recording and keep sharing all right thanks guys <laughs>